Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Skincare Saturday video, we're doing hair. Why are we doing hair you ask? Well, I'll tell you. So, a little while ago, I received an email that reads, Hi Sherry, this is Mira from Sunmay. After watching your lovely YouTube videos, I decided to reach out to you to seek possible content collaboration on a new product we released. Our innovative Sunmay Voga is a two-in-one cordless hair straightener and curler for those who travel a lot. It straightens and gives some lovely glossy waves at the three different heat settings to adapt to your hair. Perfect for these moments when you need to give your hair a quick fix. I believe your subscribers will appreciate the idea of how to quickly get hair dressed on the go in the car and avoid looking like a mess. Please let me know if you are interested in covering this travel hair care gadget. So, you know me, Mira. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I pretty much have a standard email that I send when people send me emails like this. As I'm sure you can imagine, my subscribers value my opinion and look to me for my candid reviews. If you choose to send me your product, please understand the video I post will be completely fair and honest and will thoroughly document my experience and results. So, just so you guys are aware, even though in her initial email, she says that she is seeking possible content collaboration, this video is not sponsored. I am in no way, shape or form sponsored by Sunway and their two-in-one cordless straightener. Mira sent me this product in hopes that I would do a YouTube video. I am receiving nothing in return. I owe her nothing. She owes me nothing. So I just washed my hair and we're going to blow dry it. And we are going to put this two-in-one straightener to the test today. I have the box right here and here is the straightener. So this is the Sun May Voga Cordless Hair Straightener and Curler 2-in-1. And it says on the back that it, oh no, I hope it's already charged. Oh no! It says precautions. The hair straightener was designed with a charging protection feature. It cannot be turned on while it's charging. Three levels of adjustment temperature, LCD display, and it has a type C USB charger. I did not even think about this would need to be charged. Hopefully it doesn't need to be charged or hopefully it charges in enough time to where I blow dry my hair, it's all good to go. It says, make beauty a habit, enjoy quality life. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is right here, right on the top. It looks like we have directions. Ooh, and there's a lot. There is a lot. Oh, cute. There's how to straighten hair directions, and there's also how to curl hair directions. That's cute. Outward curls, inward curls, and little curls. Oh, and it also has how long the battery will last. The straightener will run for 38 to 40 minutes if it's at the lowest setting, which is 165 degrees Celsius or 329 degrees Fahrenheit. 34 to 36 minutes if it's at the mid setting, which is 185 degrees Celsius or 365 degrees Fahrenheit and it will run for 28 to 32 minutes if it's set at the highest setting 205 degrees Celsius or 401 degrees Fahrenheit. Please check if there is enough power before using the hair straightener. If the battery is low please charge it for three hours while preheating the hair straightener Please don't use it to straighten your hair. When straightening, straighten the same part of the hairs one to two times until the hairs are completely straight. It says after turning on the hair straightener, short press the power button again to choose the temperature level. It says notice when the battery is low, the use effect will be affected. Okay, so there's all of our directions. Let's just turn it on really quick to see if it turns on or if I have to charge it for three hours, which I was not prepared for. It comes in this little slip. Oh my gosh, it's rip. This is really cute. We gotta go to the website to figure out how much this puppy is. They also give you a rat tail comb. I love that rat tail! 
They also give you the charger, little finger heat protectors, which I've never used before, but you know what these would be good for? When you're doing a DIY and you're hot gluing, you know how you always press it and then hot glue sticks? These could help that. I'm not gonna use them for the straightener, but they could definitely help with some hot gluing. It also comes with one little get your hair out of the way clip. And then it comes with this cute little travel bag. That's cute. Okay, let's see about turning this baby on. Oh. All right, the features. So right now you can't open it. There is a little lock button here. So when you press it up, then it opens. The power button is right here. Press and hold for three seconds. It turned on. It looks like battery is fully charged. Yes. Okay, okay. We're not gonna waste the battery. I gotta turn it off. I gotta turn it off because I still have to blow dry my hair and all that good stuff. So let's go to the website and see how much this hair straightener is. So I am on the shop dot sunmay.com website and it says the sunmay voga two in one cordless hair straightener and curler for traveling don't you dare use it while you're not traveling it is regularly 89.99 but on sale for 59.99 and it comes in white and in black. Oh, you can use code SUNVIP to get 15% off. So that's pretty good. So everything on the website seems to be everything that was in the direction packet. Oh, wow. They have a lot of, I've never been to this website before. They have some face stuff. They have one of those roller things, a Leaf Sonic facial cleansing brush. They have a radio frequency and EMS technology two-in-one facelift device, which is $99, but I feel like I gotta try that at some point in my life. I'm sorry, I clicked on it, I'm getting sidetracked. Look at it, can you see? Ugh. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to read about this. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. So, as I mentioned, I just washed my hair. I just got out of the shower a little bit ago. So hair is just been air drying and I did put my Not Your Mother's All Eyes On Me 10 in one hair perfecter. I put a little bit of that in my hair, but other than that, I have nothing else in my hair. So I thought we would dry it as I normally do. And then what I think, the bummer about this is the length of time that it lasts. So if you have really, really, really long hair, I don't think one session of approximately 30 minutes is gonna do it for you. So that's kind of a bummer. I brought in my Con Air straightener. Every time I use this, I put it on its highest setting, which is 410 degrees and 401 is the highest temperature on this guy. So I'm going to put it on the highest temperature on here as well as the highest temperature on my straightener since it's only gonna last about 30 minutes on the one charge. We'll do half of my hair with the travel straightener and half of my hair with my straightener and we'll see who wins. So it's, it's kind of a versus, right? So let's blow dry the hair. Okay, so yay, hair is dry. Oh yeah, I probably said it in eight million videos. I cut bangs, yay! you know, can't get rid of the forehead wrinkles. Camouflage them with bangs. Now, I straighten my hair all the time. I have a method. I do the same thing all day or day. I'm gonna do that same exact method today. So first, let's plug in my Con Air, which I love. I love this straightener. I probably got it at like, the Target or the Walgreens or somewhere like that. I turn it on, I press the button until the red indicator light is at the highest temperature. Now that does heat up fairly quickly. This Sunmay straightener, 30 seconds to heat it to the lowest temperature and about 60 seconds to heat it to the highest temperature. Press and hold, boom. And then we tapa tapa tapa. So right now the red indicator light, it's flashing at the 165. I pressed it two times and now it's flashing at the 205. When it's done flashing, it means it's heated. Okay, I'm timing it. Blinking, blinking. 
Okay, it hasn't been 60 seconds yet, and this turned green, but I lost one life of battery. This guy is still blinking, and I never noticed that this even blinked. I just plugged it in, and then I started using it when I was ready to use it. It's been 60 seconds right this second. It turned green in less than 60 seconds. Now it should be fully, fully heated up. Okay, so when I straighten my hair, I start from the underneath and go up. So I take a bunch of my hair and I leave just a little bit down here and then I take this stuff and I just clip it up. So what I wanna do is divide that in half. The one earring side is gonna be the Sun May cordless straightener and the three earring side is going to be my straightener. Now, there's no way for me to accurately measure exactly how many hair strands I'm putting through the straightener. However, the directions on the cordless one said I had to do two passes on one strand of hair, whereas mine, I normally just do one. I guess I have to do two on both, don't you think? So here's mine, first strand, and ooh, it's hot, it's hot. Steam is coming off of it, so. It's really hot for some reason. That's hot. I always put it on the, maybe I need those things, or maybe this hair strand is pretty little. I usually do kind of thick ones. Okay, I'm grabbing this whole half. This is the second pass. Okay, now my underneath hairs are always really easy to straighten. They go straight pretty quickly. It's when we get up into this section that everybody has their work cut out for them. So now, let me take this side, and we are going to use this guy. So let's unlock it, boom. And what I noticed right off the bat is it doesn't open nearly as wide as my Conair straightener. This is just really tiny compared. Second thing I noticed is my hair wasn't nearly as hot as it was on this side. Now this is, um, it was confusing me for a second because these degrees are in Celsius and these degrees are in Fahrenheit. So this is 410 Fahrenheit. This is 401 degrees Fahrenheit. So they're pretty comparable as far as heat is concerned. So we have to do a second pass. And I feel like I'm kind of under the gun because it's gonna run out in like 20 minutes. Okay, so first, they both look pretty straight. Pretty straight, see, pretty good, right? But those are my baby, like not touched by the elements hair. So let's move on to our second layer. So make another little half of a ponytail, wrap this section up. Grab this much hair. It's my normal. I'm not doing anything differently. Take my Conair straightener. That's one pass and two pass. Looks good, but I love my Conair straightener. I know it looks good. Okay, let's get another on this side with our Sun May straightener. That sounds like a bunch of crunchy hair. Okay, yeah. So I was wondering why it was feeling like it was crunchy or making a crunchy sound. These are like rose gold plates. These are black plates. I don't know what the difference would be, but there's a difference there. So I'm gonna just keep straightening my hair as I normally would, half with the Conair, half with the Sun May. I'm gonna do two passes on the Conair because the Sun May said I have to do two passes. We started straightening our hair at five o'clock. We're gonna see how long the Sun May lasts on that one right out of the box charge. The two passes thing, I'm not a huge fan of. I don't wanna do two passes, cause you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, it's only been 12 minutes since we started straightening and I'm down to my last battery power on the Sun May straightener. Again, right out of the box, I didn't charge it fully. It said to charge for three hours. I did not do that. So in 12 minutes, I still have the top of my hair to get done and I've only got one battery life left. But honestly, I mean, I feel like it's doing a fine job. This is the worst section of my hair, my very top section. Let's see how it does here. I will say the plates are a little less long than the plates on my Conair. And it means that we have to do a little bit less thick of a piece because when I was doing like what I would normally do chunk wise for my Conair, that hair pulling I was feeling was the hair that wasn't in the plate, but was like in the plastic section of it. You hear that sound? I think that's my hair like in the plastic. So when I double make sure I'm on the plates, smooth. 
Not too bad. It's doing an okay job on the toughest part of my hair. And what I mean by toughest is most damaged and so most frizzy, most hard to straighten section of my hair. It looks pretty okay. Let's do this side with my con air. Two passes. Ugh, the two passes thing, seriously. Sun May still, still lit up. Okay, my hair feels pretty straight. I'm gonna take the Sun May one and I'm gonna do my bangs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, it's not too bad. So, as far as straightening is concerned and as far as the heat that you can crank it up to, I think that's really, really good. I always do this. After my hair is straight, I always get the front pieces just one more time. So now that we're straight, I think the Sun May side did just as nice as my plugged in Con Air side. Don't you guys think? Hair's fully, fully straightened. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. But now it says it's two in one and we can curl with it, which is totally funny to me because you can technically curl your hair with any straightener. This isn't special. It's not, you know, engineered by NASA to make it straighten and curl. This guy can do it as well. I'm not even gonna read the directions on how to curl it and I'll show you right now. All you do is put your straightener in and as you're going down, just twist it. And look, I have a curl. It's not the best thing I've ever done in my life, but any straightener, when you get the hang of it, you can curl your hair with it. Look, Con Air. It didn't promote that it was two in one. It just, you can do that. It's what it does. But let's test it. It's like a heated thing on your hair. If you don't hold it straight and you curve it as you go, it's gonna curl your hair. So, twist it. Oh, and I don't even think, oh, my little baby ones got curled, but not my long ones. Twist. Oh my God, it's a miracle. It's two in one, it curled that. Can you even believe it? Yeah, so I was just, I was reading their directions. Outward curls, bend it upwards from the outside to the inside and pause for three seconds. Inwards, same thing, you just turn it the other way. So yeah, you can basically take any straightener and curl your hair. Why you would want to, I don't know. I think I saw on Brad Mondo too. To get like a wave, you kind of go like this as you go. And look, we have a little wave. What's up, beachy waves, right? So yeah, it's two in one. You can straighten your hair or you can curl your hair. But again, you can curl your hair with any straightener. I'm gonna straighten my hair back to where it was because I don't like it curled. <laughs> Still's got one battery left. Run that over that piece to see how well it straightens out my hair after I curled it. Ooh, we still got some kinks. Let's try it again. We do have to do two passes. And since the battery life is wearing down, it might not be as hot as it was initially. It did warn us of that in the direction, so that's no fault to this. But yeah, those kinks are, oh, it's dead. It's dead. Ah, all right, well, I'm gonna take my Con Air and straighten this. Still kinky. Well, I guess that's just how that's gonna be. Okay, good. So let me unplug my Con Air and then let's have a little chat about what I think, okay? Okay, so as far as a cordless straightener is concerned, I think this works just as good as the one I plug in. I mean, we see, they're the same. It's power, it's heating element, Everything to me is just as good as my favorite little Conair straightener. That's hot. I do want to look up like how much a Conair straightener. I've had that for years because regular price for this one is $89.99. I know for certain I did not pay $89.99 for my Conair. Kohl's has it on sale for $18.74. The Amazon has it for $19.58. So yeah. Yeah, this is pretty affordable, but it does have a cord and it's pretty big. Now, if we just focus on this as a travel situation, I'll tell you what I have as a travel situation for a hair straightener. So I bought this and I bought this specifically when I went on a cruise. Here's what it looks like. It's tiny and look, this one even has a heating element on the edges so that you can curl your hair as well. This is by Conair and I thought, well, since I love my white straightener by Conair, 
Then this little mini dude, he's got to be good too. There's only an on and off and there's no heating temperature gauge situation on here. Let me just tell you, this thing sucks. It does not get hot at all. I mean, it gets hot, but it doesn't get high heat hot. And I'm gonna plug it in right now. So you plug it in, you turn it on. What you have to be careful of because there are the metal heating elements on this side and not on this side. You always have to make sure you set it down on this side so you don't burn your counter or whatever or your sink when it falls into it. I bought that little mini straightener to go on a cruise, like I said. And you know, you're in the sea, salty sea air. My hair, as you know, was getting a little frizzy and it was like dinner time, captain's dinner night or whatever the shit dinner night it was. And I had plans of straightening my hair. So everybody, we were in a big group, everybody's getting ready and I'm straightening my hair with this little tiny guy thinking, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, It's Con air, it's fine. Well, let me just tell you, it was not fine. I spent forever trying to straighten my hair and it was not getting straight at all. To where I had to go out of my room, go next door to my friend Kristen's room and say, oh my God, did you bring a straightener? Because I've already straightened my hair and look at it. And she looked at me and she was like, Oh my God, yeah, here, you you need to take this. So I had to re-straighten my hair with Kristen's normal everyday straightener. So as far as travel is concerned, I think this is a pretty good deal. Now, it is a little pricey at $89 for something that you would use to travel, but it does work. That's the thing, it does work. And I think it works because it has the temperature thing. I have no idea how hot this is. This could just be the lowest temperature setting, which is like, what, 266 degrees Fahrenheit? I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's been sitting here plugged in for since this whole time I've been talking. Look at that. It's not even that hot to the touch right now. It's just no, it's, it's no good. Like, I don't even know why I still have this under my bathroom sink because I've never taken it traveling ever again. And heaven forbid I wash and blow dry my hair, that would never make it. It would never fucking make it. So yeah, all that said, this one is way better than that one as far as a travel flat iron is concerned. It is nice that it doesn't have a cord. You do have to charge it and you have to be speedy about getting your hair done because on a full charge, the battery life is said to only last about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on what temperature you set it at. That, not so awesome. Sometimes I wonder like, okay, what? So no shade to Sunmate, to everybody. What's the difference of me packing this, me going like this, and putting this in my suitcase, as opposed to me going like this, and putting this in my suitcase. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the hair straighteners that are branded as travel straighteners. I don't get it because this takes up just as much room as this does. I mean, really. As far as you like, oh my gosh, I travel all the time. I have to have it. I don't think that's necessary, but what I do think this could be good for is, let me, let me just take you back, back, back in time. Okay, so you're in high school and you're in the girls' locker room and you notice the really popular pretty girls after gym class, after PE, they're standing in front of the mirror and they have their butane curling iron. You remember those? Butane clicked it and they had a curling iron because there were no plugs in the locker room. I mean, there were plugs, but nowhere where you could use them really. And I was always so jealous of the girls that have butane curling irons and they were freshening up their hair after PE and they looked fabulous. Whereas me, I didn't have a butane curling iron. My mom would no way, no how, no way. So I just had to go with like sweaty, shitty hair to my next class. This would be great for school. This would be great to keep in your locker and use it after PE. This would also be really great for, let's say you go to work all day. Your girls call you and they're like, let's meet for happy hour after work. You have this 
in your purse or in your car, and then right after work, you run into the bathroom and you touch up your hair really quick. I could see this coming in handy for that, for certain. If you just had it charged and then had it in your car, or your bag, or you know, maybe you go do yoga or Pilates, or maybe after pole class, you're like, oh, I wanna go for drinks, but I look like a sweaty mess. You just turn this puppy on, it heats up in like 30 to 60 seconds, and you just touch up all your gross, sweaty, curly hairs. I can see this for certain. Not having to take this around. You might not always have access to a plug in your work bathroom or the gym bathroom or whatever. But as far as you trying to convince me that I travel all the time for work, I go out of town all the time, and I shouldn't bring this because this takes up less space, I can't get behind it. Also, I can't get behind if I was going to go out of town for a lengthy period, anything more than four days, where I need to wash my hair while I was out of town, my hair in particular would not be able to go off of one charge after washing and blow drying my hair. It's gonna take me a good like 20 minutes to straighten one half and another 20 minutes to straighten the other half. And then what do I do when this runs out of juice? I mean, we all saw it, it just shut off on me as I was trying to straighten that last piece of hair. Could you imagine you're getting ready to go to dinner, you just washed your hair, you blue dry it, you have this, you're straightening it, you're straightening it, you're straightening it. You get and you have this one section left right here and it's totally frizzy and curly and you go to straighten it and the light goes out. What are you gonna do? Tell whoever you're going to dinner with, oh, I'm sorry, I have to wait three hours to charge this so I can straighten this one chunk of hair. That wouldn't work for me at all, not at all. No way, no how. But for those specific, very specific things for me and my life, being able to just like have it in my car, charge just in case, or maybe a photo shoot situation where you wanna do like straight hair, but then maybe for one photo, you wanna have a little curl flip going on. You could take out this straightener and do that with it. But anything other than like little touch-ups on the go, I wouldn't use this to straighten my entire head of hair right out of the shower and freshly blow dried. This this is not gonna make it for my hair. Now for your hair type, it totally might. If you don't have super frizzy, gross damaged hair and you can maybe do the middle temperature and get through your whole head of hair pretty quickly on one charge, then yeah, I travel with this all the time. I will say not having a cord attached to it is pretty nice. There have been many a time, well, just this last pool trip we went on, teacher Jen and I were sharing a room and she had her straightener or curling iron or straightener or blow dryer or whatever. And in the hotel bathroom, there was only one plug. So when you're with someone else and you're trying to get ready in the same bathroom and that person has their curling iron or straightener and their blow dryer plugged in, it's like, well, okay, so I guess I'll go plug mine into the nightstand plug. Maybe I'll do my makeup while that's heating up while you're doing your hair. I mean, in that situation, yeah, this is pretty nice because if you're getting ready, a bunch of group of girls together and everybody's taking up the plugs, you could whip this out and do your hair. So because it is cordless and it does heat up really nicely, I can maybe get behind that. As long as I knew that the trip that I was going on, I wasn't gonna wash my hair at all during it, then this would be money for me. This is 10 times better than this. This doesn't even work, I gotta throw this away. Is it even hot? It's been plugged in and on this entire time. It's barely, yeah. do you see, do you see? This thing sucks, sucks. I'm gonna throw it away, it's stupid. Point of the story is, for a travel straightener that is cordless, this is actually pretty good. It does a very nice job. My only gripe is, I wish the battery life lasted a little bit longer. I need longer than 30 minutes, especially on a freshly washed and blow dried head of hair. Now, if my hair was like this and I just, you know, woke up in the morning and I was, you know, you're, you know, you're kind of like this and you're like, oh, oh my God, we're going to brunch and I've got this little kink here or whatever, 100%. But 
for me, not freshly washed and blow dried. It's not gonna make it off of one charge. And ain't nobody got time to do half or three quarters of your head of hair and then still charge this. Because the bad thing is, don't forget, while it's charging, you can't use it. So you have to wait for it to be charged before you can even use it again. Yeah, that would be my one gripe. But other than that, I really appreciate that it has the three different temperatures. That's a good plus. I appreciate that because with most travel flat irons that I've seen, it's literally on or off. So this is very nice. It actually looks very nice too. It's very chic. I like that it has the locking thing. So I'm not mad about it. I just wish that the battery life lasted a little bit longer. So there you have it and there it is. Our Sunmay Voga cordless hair straightener and curler two in one test is complete. And I'll say it did a pretty good job. So if you guys are interested in this, I will put the link to the Sun May website in the description box below. And don't forget, at the time of me making this video, the website was offering a 15% off. So that's kind of a bonus. And also do let me know in the comments below if you are interested in this. Do you have a travel straightener that you currently use do you like it? This is the first one that I've seen that's had the temperature settings on it and I really dig that. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Mira at Sunmay for sending this to me. I really enjoyed testing it and I will take it on a trip the next time. Or maybe I'll take it to Pole. Oh, Pole Camp is coming. Maybe I'll take it to Pole Camp, you never know. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.